it's your girl Daria Shantae, period. I'm currently in an elevator right now at the mall. I just left from a job interview. And um, I'm gonna get about this mall because I've been in there window shopping. Because I do not need to spend any money. But I'm gonna go spend some money at Target. So yeah, I'm gonna take y'all with me. I did record a little bit in there of what I was looking at. Damn, where up here did I park my car? So, yeah, um, I didn't want to get up out of there because it was kind of depressing looking in there and like, girl, you're not gonna buy shit. Peep the hair. Yeah, this little swirl got messed up. This one is popping though, cause I slipped on this side and I didn't feel like fixing it. Cause I had to rush out the house to go um to this interview. But yeah, y'all, there was like, they said, <laughs> um, put on the paper what's the minimum you would like to be paid and so the minimum i would like to be paid because mind y'all the job that i went there to um, interview for pay is supposed to be 25 dollars an hour so i said the minimum that i would like to be paid hopefully i'm not covering the mic it's 21. i get in the room with the guy he said what makes you think you deserve 21 dollars an hour i said because i didn't work for more than that an hour so yeah he was like oh, okay i was like yeah the fuck <laughs> don't play with it the fuck yeah but yeah y'all finna go to target so i'm finna see where the nearest target is at and i'm finna go to target because of some stuff i need i'm finna get some hygiene stuff i need some more body wash i need some toilet paper and we just finna see what i got to get up out of there because y'all know i got the autumn gift cards for christmas so yeah y'all stay tuned Alright y'all, so I just got to Target. I'm already seeing stuff that I like. Just got in. The door is right there. Lord. Can't even get in the store yet. This for my makeup brushes. So, yeah y'all. Like y'all, I didn't forget I'm supposed to be hygiene shopping. I'm on little clothes and shit. Let me get the fuck. So since I cannot soak in my bathtub in my dorms, well I can, but like, why would I do that? And my back has been hurting like crazy, my knee been hurting like crazy, like you girls just, 
out of it. I did not know that Dr. Till's Epsom salt, they had body scrubs. I did not know that. So I'm gonna get some. Ooh. They got some with cannabis in it. I'm gonna get this one. And we gonna rub it all on my body and shit. We gonna see how that shit work in the shower. you guys so i just made it back yes i did not change my shirt because i had this underneath but i just take that off because after bringing all these groceries up your girl was hot but then i was cold so i put my jacket back on but we're gonna get into all the stuff that i got i'm not gonna show y'all the groceries because i did go a little bit grocery shopping too but i'm gonna show y'all all the hygiene stuff since this is a hygiene vloggy vlog you feel me hey uh, this person don't know how to package stuff how to you feel me because you're supposed to put the hygiene stuff with the hygiene stuff and the grocery stuff with the grocery stuff that's why i put it up there like that because that's how you're supposed to put it in the bags she must have not watched her training anyways Girl, uh, fuck, like. Shit. I just got so lucky because first of all that just fucked up my hair falling like that oh my gosh I could have just died I got so lucky this was when I say I literally said Shoo. my head said Shoo. and then the garbage is right here my ass was this close to falling straight in the garbage can you know what let me stop talking about people. Okay, God, I'm sorry. I hear your message. I'm going to shut up. Now I'm hot again. All that damn falling. Woo! Firstly, I got some toilet paper because I'm not going to lie. Me and my roommate ran out of the toilet paper like a week ago. And we've been using wipes and stealing toilet paper from the school. So, yeah. So, I got us some little toilet paper. Six little rolls. It should last us a little bit. And then I got some, what's these called? Cotton balls. Because um, as y'all may or may not know, I be doing my own nails nine times out of ten. And I haven't had no cotton balls in like a pretty long time. And so when I be needing to, to need them cotton balls, I just be using like paper towels and shit and they'll be giving what's supposed to give. And then like I be eating cotton balls for other stuff too. So I took out some cotton balls. There was only $2 for the big pack. So I was like, why not? Um, I got some tampons. The girlies understand. Um, I use organic tampons. I usually use the Cora brand, but I've seen these all around. So I was like, let me try these. So I want to try these ones. These are also organic. If y'all use these, let me know. Do y'all fuck with them? let me know so yeah i got some of these so we gonna see what these is giving for what these is hitting on so i'm just really shook though on how you put in food in with the you feel me personal care items like that don't make no sense to me anyways i got some wipes some little feminine wipes i got the same brand um i've never used these either so hopefully you know we gonna see how this brand works out. It says that they're pH balanced wipes, no fragrance dyes, alcohol, or latex. So we'll see. Just for you know, that time of the month to keep what you clean up a little bit, you know? So your girl is ready, stocked up. I already had some pads. I got diapers. Do y'all use diapers on y'all cycle? I do, when it's heavy. Cause why the fuck not? It makes me feel so much more comfortable. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, so I just need it those things so yeah y'all and then i showed y'all this in the store 
the Dr. Teal's Shea Sugar Scrub. This is the cannabis and sativa hemp seed oil with essential oils kind. It says it has shea butter, hemp seed oil, and avocado oil. I smelled it in the store. It smells pretty good. Ooh. Ooh. It smells good. I didn't think it would smell like that. This is what it looked like. It just looked like this, y'all. Yeah. So I'm excited to use this. Hopefully it soothes me in the spots where I need to be soothed. So I'm gonna use it in the shower tonight. And yeah, if y'all wanna know how it's, you know, hitting for, you know, just eggs, I'll tell you. And then I got me some Carmex because I lose them everywhere. So I seen this pack of four and I'm like, let me just grab it. Cause I love my Carmex and I always lose them. So I'm thinking I need to put one in my car, one in my purse, one in my school bag keep one by my bed and yeah and hopefully that'll just I could leave them places and not take them places so hopefully that'll help me keep track of them better I hope I got some mouthwash I've never tried this mouthwash before this is whitening anti-cavity mouth rinse the up and up brand if y'all know the up and up brand is the cheap brand from Target yeah, I was trying to go cheap. I'm not going to lie. Why? I have Target gift cards, so it really didn't matter how much it costs, but I'm that type of person. I look for the cheapest thing. The cheapest, best thing. So, yeah, this seemed like the cheapest, best thing that they had. So, yeah, I was thought that was cheaper than this, but it wasn't given. So, I was like, okay, we're going to see. This is the fresh mint flavor. I didn't even look at the flavor when I was at the store, but we're going to see what this is hidden for. I've never used this one before. I didn't want to go Crest and I didn't want to go... The only Listerine they had was the original Listerine. And I don't think I've ever used original Listerine, honestly. So, yeah. And I don't know. Crest was just not calling my name. And, yeah. So, I almost got... What's it called? Like, Arc or something like that? I know nothing about it. Never heard nothing about it. But I was watching this girl YouTube video. When was that? Yesterday or the day before? And she got it, and she said she got it because she seen somebody else use a video, and they got it. And I was like, shit, I'm gonna get it, but then I end up not getting it because I'm like, girl, be fucking for real. What if you fucking don't like it? So yeah, so I didn't get it. But yeah, y'all. And then this is not hygiene, but this is just something I found as soon as I walked in the store. Just this little container. It was only five dollars, so I said I'm gonna get it to put my um, makeup brushes in because I still have my makeup brushes. If you did not see my Christmas haul video, what I got for Christmas, go check that out. My mama got me some makeup brushes. And I don't have nothing to put them in. They're still in the thing that they came in, the little box. And I haven't took them out because I don't want them just like all over the place. So got this so I could just put them in there. It's a little drawer. So yeah. And then I got this um, Intuition Shave Care. It just says lather and shave. I was gonna get some new razors and um, shaving cream usually for my legs I just like put near on my legs and then wipe it off because I hate shaving my legs like I haven't shaved my legs in so long like I just put near and wipe it off but for some reason I feel like the last couple of times when I've used near like it irritated my legs and it never used to do that so I don't know if I'm becoming like sensitive to near or what because I my body is like sensitive my body is sensitive but it was never like too sensitive like i know the things i could use and can't use but more recently like my body's been getting so sensitive to like random things like i was in makeup class one time and i used like this makeup remover this oil-based makeup remover it made my whole body itch and i was like well, what the fuck like that's random as hell and then i used a nair on my legs mind you i always use nair on my legs and my legs was just like mad irritated as soon as I put it on. Like it was on for like one minute. And I was just like, ooh, like that's weird. So yeah, so I don't know, but we're gonna try this. I hate having to shave my legs and put shit on and shave it off and you know, do all that extra shit. So we gonna see You say you don't have to use shaving cream or nothing like that. You just <sighs> lather and shave in one step. So we gonna see if it works. My mama said she uses it before and she said it was okay. So I was like, what that means? Should I get it or should not get it? And she was like, you can get it and try it. So I'm gonna I'm try it. And if, it you know, if I don't fuck with it, I'm gonna blame it on my mama. I'm not gonna lie. Cause girl, you should have told me to get it. And then I got the St. Ives body wash. I need some more body wash. I've never tried this one before. I usually get the one in the blue bottle. I'm not sure what it's called. Um, They had one in the blue bottle, but I was looking at it and I'm like, this don't look like the one I usually get. So do they have two that come in a blue bottle? 
they must because I was reading it and I'm like I'm pretty sure this is not the one that I be using so I didn't end up getting that one and I just got this one to try something new this is the oatmeal and shea butter one and yeah I think the other one that I seen at the store was coconut and coconut and something I forgot hopefully I took a video of it I think I might have recorded it but this one just smells so good I smelled both of them this one smelled better and yeah the one I usually use comes in a blue bottle as well but it's like a exfoliating body wash it's sea salt in something so I don't know what it is but it's in a blue one too it looked like the one that was at the store in the blue bottle but I'm pretty sure it wasn't that one so I just end up getting this one to try something new but I know that this brand works for me so hopefully hopefully this is cool and then is this all I got as far as hygiene goes huh because that's it for this little bag let me check y'all hold on I guess I didn't really get that much stuff as far as hygiene goes I got into that um what's it call it I got into that food section and went crazy. Then I was trying to get up out of there so I didn't have to pay parking because after your first hour in that store, hour and a half, you got to pay for parking. And I wasn't paying for parking. So yeah, I paid $3. I did good. But yeah, so then I also got just a spray bottle for my hair for when I do my hair. I'll be making a little concoction. If y'all want to know my concoction, I'll give y'all my concoction, but I'm not gonna tell y'all my concoction right now because yeah. So yeah, so I got me a new spray bottle for my concoction. Let me open it up to see. I should have opened it in the store to see if this was even a good spray bottle for my little hair concoction, but I feel like it will be. Let's see. Ooh, I like this. I didn't even notice it was like that. Well, duh, it literally says it on the bottle when I read it. <sighs> I haven't ate nothing all day, so that's probably why my head a little. <laughs> you know let's see oh no this is not the one i was looking at because the other one was see-through because i could well this one is see-through too not really not as see-through as the other one i don't know child i do not know but this one's cute so i don't really care i could decorate it if i wanted to uh, the... how this thing work am i tweaking Cause it don't look like this thing. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, I like this and it has a, okay. Yeah, I definitely like this so I could lock it and put it back with my, in my little hair bin. Okay, yeah, I think this will work. I think this will work. Let me see the straw again. Yeah, yeah, this will work. So yeah, I got this. It's cute, actually. I really like this. I'm just scared, like, it'll break. But hopefully not. And then I got this. This was in the Black History Month section. It's just a journal. It says all over it, my voice, my voice, my voice. And it says my power, my power, my power. So yeah, it's just a journal. Let me show y'all the inside. The inside is real cute. It's pink. You see, it says my voice and my power. And then at the top, it got the month and then the day. So you can circle the month and a day. So you know what day you're writing on. It's real cute. I got it so I can start journaling more. I like journal, but in like regular notebooks. So if I show y'all my journal, I use like a blue notebook and it's like ugly. So I thought this was cute. So yeah. And then I got a book. Hopefully I like this book. Um, I was trying to figure out what book I wanted to get because I didn't want to get a book. So I ended up getting this book. It's called Miraculous Stories of Healing Power of Prayer. Faith Still Moves Mountains by Harris Faulkner. Yes. And it is a national best-selling author. And basically what it says on the back, I'm gonna I'm read it to y'all. It says, in faith still moves mountain, Harris Faulkner shares 19 stories that speaks to the miracles of devotion, the gifts of vulnerability, and the unwavering grace of God. This is a book about the power of prayer. It's about how God comes alongside us in our daily lives. He could bring us through any valley, be it in any struggle with illness, depression, or death, or just a bad day. This book is full of stories reminding us that God sees and cares 
when we're struggling. Miracles that provide the most visible evidence of God's greatness and grace. Proof that prayer isn't just words, it's action. From faith still moves mountains. So, yeah. And there was another book in there too. It was called um, 50 Devotions of something. I don't remember, but I did record that for you guys. So it'll be in an earlier clip. And that one caught my attention too, but I don't know. Something was not like, buy it, buy it, buy it. But more like, do your research on it and then maybe buy it at a later date. So that's what that one was given. And this one was given by me, read me. So I bought it and I'm going to read it. So yeah, y'all. So that's basically all that I got. Um, I thought this like hygiene haul was going to be more. Like I felt like I bought more stuff, but I guess I didn't because I went into the food section and went all out. Like if I show y'all this food that's on the ground, I got this bag. That's food stuff. I got this bag. Ooh, this is bag heavy. I can't even lift this one up. Full of stuff. I got this bag. That was full of stuff, but I took some of the stuff out because it's on the floor now. I got this bag. Also, some of the stuff on the floor now. This bag. Also, some of the stuff on the floor now. I got some water over there. So, yeah, I'm going to put this stuff up. And, ooh, I just stabbed myself in the face. And get something to eat and call it a night, y'all, because I am tired. I've been out all day. But yeah, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Give this video a share. Share it with your mommy, your daddy, your granddaddy, your uncle, your sister, and them, your dog. I don't care. Make sure they watch the video, though. And yeah, y'all, let me know what other content y'all want to see from me. And yeah, y'all, bye. Um, I forgot to say, um, follow me on all social medias at Finesse Queen. That's F-I-N-E-S-S-E dot Q-U-3-3-N underscore on Instagram without the underscore on TikTok. Okay, now bye.